Hi everyone, it has been such a long time since I sat down in front of the camera. And for that matter, it's actually been a really long time since I've done anything creative. My husband and I moved from St. Louis to Phoenix in the end of July. So we've been in Phoenix just a little over two months now, absolutely dying in the summer heat. We chose the wrong time to move. <laughs> But it has cooled down a little bit now, thank goodness. Uh, we've been focusing on a couple home improvement projects before we start buying furniture or before I start working on house decoration projects. <laughs> Our floors should be done at the end of this week and I couldn't help myself. I had to start um, a quick crocheted throw pillow uh, project. So today I'm going to be sharing this textured throw pillow uh, tutorial. It's just a basket weave stitch. I just made a couple of small changes that I'll share with you in the tutorial to really make the texture of this stitch pop a little bit more. I think texture is just as powerful as tone and I love to play with textures, especially in my home decorations. Uh, um, but I think adding textures is just such a powerful statement and it creates a really dynamic um, dynamic picture and feel. So make sure that you subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Let's get into the tutorial. For this tutorial I'm using the Burnett's Baby Blanket yarn in the off-white. On the back you'll see that there is a recommendation for the size crochet hook that you should be using. They recommend an 11 millimeter needle, but because I want my crochet stitches to be a little more distinct and a little tighter and bulkier, I'm actually sizing down and using the 10 millimeter needle. So this pattern, this basket weave pattern is done in multiples of eight. So you could make a blanket, you could make a throw pillow like I did. Um, there's really, you can do so many things with this pattern. It's really quite simple um, and it works up really quickly, especially when you use this bulkier pattern. Okay, so you'll make a slip knot. Just, it doesn't really matter if you have a different way of making your slip knot, that's totally fine. And you'll do a base chain, like I said, in multiples of eight plus seven. So you'll do one over, pull through, one over, pull through, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so for my throw blanket, it's an 18 inches by 18 inches. It's not a blanket, I'm sorry, my throat pillow. I did 31 stitches, so that's um, three multiples of eight plus seven. So I'm going to continue the chain stitch and then show you how to start that next row. Okay, I'm just doing a sample size for this. So I only did two multiples of eight plus seven, which is 23 stitches. So you will count back by two, so one, two. You're going to skip those chain stitches. You're going to do one row of US double crochet. That's also known as the triple crochet. So you're going to do one over, insert your hook into that third stitch. You'll do another one over, pull through. And at this point, you should have three loops on your crochet hook. You'll do another one over and you'll pull through two loops. You'll do another one over and pull through both of those loops. So that is your first double crochet. I need to pull more yarn out. Okay, let me just do that one more time. You'll do one over, you'll go right into that next crochet. You'll do another one over, pull through. Again, you'll have three loops on your crochet hook. We'll pull through two, another one over, and pull through both of those. Okay, so now you've done two double crochets on this base chain, this foundation chain. So I'm just going to continue. I'm going to do the rest of this second row, and then I will show you how to start the basket weave stitch. 
Okay, so now that you have finished your first row of double crochet, you're going to chain two. These are your turning chains and you always need to compensate for that next row with turning chains. And then you'll turn your work over. We're going to start the actual basket weave stitch now. So you'll one over and you'll go into the front of this second double crochet. So you'll insert and then you'll bring your crochet hook back around. You'll one over, you'll pull that through. And you'll have three loops on your crochet hook. You'll one over, pull through two, and then one over and pull through two again. And that is your first stitch in the basket weave pattern. And I'm sure you've already noticed, but it's essentially just a double crochet. You're just inserting the hook in a different, um, in a different place than just the, just the chain. So let's do another one. You'll one over, you'll insert your hook into that third double crochet and bring it back around. You'll one over on your crochet hook, pull that through. You'll have three loops on your crochet hook, one over, pull through two, have two loops on your crochet hook, one over and pull through both of those. And that is the second stitch on your basket weave. So again, over, you'll insert into the front, bring it around back, one over, pull through, three loops again, one over, pull through two, one over, pull through two. Okay, another one. So like I mentioned earlier, we're doing multiples of eight. So we're going to do four front and then four back. So let's do the last of the front crochets. So again, one over, insert, and bring back around, one over, pull through, one over, pull through two, one over, pull through two. Okay, so that's how four stitches will look. And now we're going to switch to the back. So you'll one over, and this until your hands uh, build up that muscle memory. It's going to be kind of tricky, but it's actually not that complicated. So you'll just go around back, bring your crochet hook around front, bring it back through, one over and pull through, Again, one over, pull through two, one over, pull through two. So one over, you'll insert in the back, bring it in the front and bring it back around. So one over, pull through, one over, pull through two, one over, pull through two. Okay, and that's your second back stitch. And you can already kind of see that basket weave pattern coming out. So one over, insert in the back around that double crochet and bring it back through, one over, pull through, one over, pull through two, one over, pull through two. Okay, so we have three back stitches now and just need to do one more. So one over, back around, one over, pull through, one over, pull through two, and one over, pull through two again. Okay, so at this point you've done four front stitches and four back stitches, and we're just going to switch back and do another four front stitches. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to end a row and to start another. So you'll one over, insert into this, this turning chain that you had on the other row, one over, pull through, you'll have three loops on your crochet hook, one over and pull that all the way through. Okay, and then you'll chain two to start that next row. Turn your work over and you are ready to start on that next row. Okay, so I have now finished my third row of crochet, second row of the basket weave stitch. I've chained two and I'm getting ready to start on this third row of basket weave stitch. So I did the two outset on those first two stitches and now I'm going to move to doing an inset on these next two rows. 
So if you recall, you'll do one over and you'll insert from the back, come out, grab one over again, pull that through, one over, pull through two, one over, pull through two. Okay, so again, we'll just continue in that manner. Okay, so I have now finished my fifth row of crocheting. And for when I say fifth row, I'm including that first row of double crochet. And then there are four rows of the basket weave stitch. So you can see that this is just absolutely beautiful. It's a stunning pattern. And especially with this bigger yarn, it creates a really textured pillow cover. And especially when you're using that smaller crochet needle, it really makes that pattern uh, stand out. So I'm gonna show you how to finish this off. This is just a sample that I've done, but I will show you the full pillow that I made. So I'm gonna show you how to finish off your corner. Cut off the yarn. And then you'll just pull this through and tighten it. There you go. And then I always go ahead and hide this yarn. I just pull it through. I'll show you really quickly what I do. You can pull it through as many times as you want, um, but essentially you're just going to be hiding it. So that was part one of the chunky and textured basket weave pillow tutorial. In part two, I'm going to show you how I seam together the front and back pieces of the pillow cover. So if you are making a pillow, make sure that you subscribe to watch part two, and I'll walk you through exactly how I put the rest of my pillow together. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.